when you say, I'm turning spiritual, you must understand, yoga is the methodology. Essentially, your effort is to move away from the ways of the body and get aligned with the another dimension of nature within us. From the surface nature of physicality, we want to get aligned with a, a deeper nature of inner nature. One important aspect of your physicality is your genetics. So, life repeats itself. You think you're a fresh life, <laughs> do not underestimate the dead. <laughs> your great-grandfather laughing at you, living through you. You know someone said, leave the dead to the dead. You forgotten? Two thousand years ago, someone said, leave the dead to the dead. It's not that simple to put the dead to rest. Just because you boxed them and buried them, or you're an Indian person, you don't trust boxes and burial. You know they could find a way out, so you burn the hell out of them. <laughs> Not only you burn them, you took their ashes and put it in three different rivers <laughs> and also in the ocean so that they should never again rise. <laughs> Indians are taking a lot of care about these things <laughs> because there is a whole science as to how to make sure the dead remain dead, they don't play up. They will play up. In so many ways they're playing up. To put them to rest, the best way to put them to rest is, there is a distance between you and your body, they're finished. Only if you identified with your body, they will play up in your life in a hundred different ways. Many of you will notice this, when you're eighteen, twenty, you thought, I'm never going to be my life, like my mother or my father, I'm a revolution, you know. All the hippies I'm asking you <laughs> But you're forty-five, suddenly you start talking like your mother or your father, you sit like that, you stand like that, you seem to amble around just like that. Slowly, they're taking charge of you from within. Everything that you registered, you thought you were a big revolution just because you smoked pot. <laughs> but <laughs> Forty, fifty years of age, slowly they start manifesting themselves, laughing at your revolution. <laughs> because putting the dead to the dead is not a simple thing. So can we do this? Definitely. The entire system of yoga, from the simplest process to the most sophisticated processes of yoga, essentially designed towards this, so that you become a totally fresh life. Nothing of the past should remain. We have great regard and respect for the past because they brought us this far, but we don't want them to carry them, we don't want to carry them into tomorrow. We want to leave them there. We understand they are our foundation, but we don't want them to the flower and fruit of future. We want this to be a fresh life. It will not come just because mentally you rebel. Genetically, you have to distance yourself. In India, 
these days it's becoming weak, but otherwise in Indian families it's very, very important to perform these karmas to the dead. People think this is in remembrance of their forefathers. This is not in remembrance, this is to distance yourself, constant effort to put them away because they'll keep cropping up. Not somewhere else, right here within you, in so many ways they keep cropping up, putting the dead to complete rest means in a way you're liberated because the cycles of the past are over with you. You are a completely fresh blossoming.